The AEW show opened with the return of John Moxley. Now I watched this on uh, on the West Coast feed. So they ended out him saying. Uh, so what happened here? Because I, I heard all about it, but then I never saw it because it was edited off my version. Yeah. Well, nobody. Okay. I actually have the wording, but um, let me look that up. But what happened? Um, Moxley comes out, and he was pretty much in the zone. Um, he was feeling great. And he's walking to the room. Dude, he looked awesome. He looked 10 years younger. Yeah, he did look a lot younger. You know, hey, getting off the road, getting off drinking. Holy smokes. Yep, hasn't drank in, I don't know, three months? Yeah. Something like that. Good for him. So, um, so anyway, he's walking to the ring, and everyone's cheering him like crazy. And there's always one person. And um, do you remember... Um, when Owen Hart died, obviously, everyone remembers this. And Bret Hart did the, came back. It was a couple months later, and he came back, and it was, I think it might have been in Atlanta, but the city is irrelevant where it was. Bret Hart comes back, and, um, you know, people are cheering him and everything like that. First, first appearance since Owen died. And one person, like, he starts his promo, and he's a little slow starting his promo, and one person out of, like, however many thousands of people are there, Cat called him. And he was, I just remember him telling me, I talked to him like, I think it was like the day or two after this. He was right after. And he said, I had this great promo. And he just said that like this one guy, Cat called him. And it was, it was just like, these people don't deserve this promo. And I was like, it was one person, you know, but it just, it, that's what it was. These people don't deserve that promo. And he didn't do the promo. Uh, Moxley wasn't like that. Moxley heard the one person out of all these people, and he said, he booed him and said, get this drunken piece of trash out of the ring, okay? And Moxley heard it, and Moxley says, like, you know, like, fuck you, get him out of here. Um, and it's just like, of all the things, like, you know, there's always one idiot in the crowd, but it's like, of all the things to say on this day to that person... It's just like, you know, I mean, he went and did his promo, so he's totally professional about it. But my God, I mean, I've, oh, I, you know, I mean, there's always, again, like I, I've heard a lot worse from crowds in other places many times before and all this. But Jesus Christ, uh, I just d don't be that guy. I mean, don't well, be I that mean, guy. you know, it was it was one guy because when he started telling his story about being on the side of the road and this cloud of evil over his head, I mean, this crowd went silent, hanging on his every word. And he basically told the story of, of going to hell and coming back. And there was nothing that anybody could do in this ring to him that could be worse. And he said he was thirsty and it was dangerous because these days all I drink is blood. And he stormed out of the ring. And man, this like this guy looked great. And he's uh, back in the ring on Friday night. Yeah, against Ethan Page. So um, yeah, he looked great. Great promo. The highlight of the show. That's the highlight of the show. I would say by far. And it's yeah. funny because I, I I don't know if maybe he just felt like you know I don't want to be out here talking for a long time. I just want to get in and get out. But, I mean, you know, if, if he would have had a lot to say, I mean, this this honestly should have been, like, the main event segment. But uh, given the brevity of, I guess, what he wanted to get out, it was a perfect opening for this show. Yeah, it was a great show open. It was the peak of the show, unfortunately. But, well, no, well, I mean, what was going to top it? I mean, nothing was. I mean, Cody tried, but, but nothing topped it. Cody had a hell of a promo. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.